Good morning. It's time now for another installment of your East High Eagle Eye Report. There are big changes in the lunch line. Our cafeteria now offers more options to eat. Check out the submarine sandwiches and salads offered in the two outside lines. East High is doing its best to listen to scholars and make our school better based on your suggestions. Be sure to check out the lunch changes today. East High's Teaching and Learning Institute has been busy these past few weeks. Over the midterm week, upperclassmen hosted pre-K students for a gym and swim event where they serve as healthy heroes for our little ones. On Friday, February 1st, TLI freshmen sat down with Dr. Nelms and Miss Washington to discuss ways to make East ever better. Then Monday, February 4th, our seniors began their 80-hour paid internships as teaching assistants at nearby elementary schools. They have a further appreciation of what it takes to be a teacher and a leader. Meanwhile, many students and staff participated in World Hijab Day to show support for women around the world who wear the hijab daily. Thanks to all who participated. The Information Technology Academy Hardware Core class recently completed a major project, building a personal computer from scratch, uploading operating software and delivering it ready for the customer's specifications. This was a great accomplishment for the class and these are powerful computers. For those in the IT program, it is an important achievement for their pursuit of career readiness as an IT specialist. Attention athletes, the spring sports season is nearly upon us. All spring sport athletes must have their recalls completed in order to play. Please make sure you get the appropriate requalification form completed by meeting with the nurse as soon as possible. Remember, spring sports start soon. The softball team needs you. On BND Days, East High's Girls Softball will be selling coffee, tea, and hot chocolate for $1 in the morning. They are set up from 720 through 750 on B&D days outside the cafeteria and Fridays during family group. Attention teachers, the girls will deliver your coffee if you are in a hurry. Just stop by the stand to put in your order. That's coffee, delivered in the morning, put right in your hands. Help the softball team and they will help you. Attention JV and varsity softball players. Tryouts start March 4th. Get your recalls done now. Be proactive. See Ms. Van with any questions. Just as a reminder for all scholar athletes, 
Recall papers must be filled out and signed by your parents. In addition, every spring athlete is required to show evidence of a physical exam that is less than one year old. Also, if an athlete has a need for medication, like an inhaler for asthma or an EpiPen for allergies, you need written instructions of the doctor's orders, the medicine with your name on it, and a self-carry form filled out by your parent. Recalls will be conducted during family group, lunch, and your reg regular physical education period. Visit the nurse's office with any questions. Congratulations to all the recipients of the Physical Education Scholar of the Month for January. These scholars demonstrated leadership, responsibility, and the ability to advocate for themselves and others. When you see them, please let them know that they are doing great work. The lower school scholars of the month are sixth graders Kania Brown and Femi Kamasui. The upper school scholars of the month are 11th graders Adesha Washington and Hunter White. Next, an announcement from SAFE. Hey East, my name is Angelina Simmons and I'm the vice president here at SAFE in which a student aligns for equality. Recently, I helped run and lead an event for Human Rights Day in which we had eight different students in which you all nominated for, and we asked them basic questions surrounding gender, race, sexuality, and just issues we feel that are surrounding our community. I feel that I went very successful because of everything that I've heard afterwards and how students left intrigued by both the panel and our discussion that we had. So, if you have any ideas, come during lunch on every Thursday. We meet every Thursdays in D135 with our advisor in shorts. We hope to see you there because we need your help to make the change. Bye. February is Black History Month, and we're looking forward to some big events coming up soon. First, we have the Winter Sports Pep Rally scheduled for Wednesday, February 13th. East High's Hip Hop Celebration will take place on Friday, February 15th. And finally, our annual Black History Celebration will take place on Tuesday, February 26th. Many people are working very hard to bring us these great events. Please offer support, show respect, and help any way you can. Here's a clip from last year's Black History Celebration. <laughs> Enjoy the latest artwork from Miss Donlin's class.
That's all for this week's Eagle Eye Report. Remember, East, make it a great day or not. The, the choice, choice is yours. yours.